in this video we're going to look at the famous gamma function so um so so f th this graph is a special case for when when n equals 4 so uh so when you put 4 into here it will then it will give you t uh to the power of 3 e to the power of negative t so so if you get your graph plot on plot y equals t to the power of 3 e to the power of blah 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 it will then give you this graph here so so this is a famous um the famous gamma function. In this video, we're going to determine if this area will converge or if it will diverge from zero to infinity. Okay, so um, so so let's start out by e let's start out by considering this. Let's start out by considering one thing divided by another thing. Even though we're trying to obtain this, we're going to de um we are going to consider something totally different. Let's let's just consider this divided by this. So now let's let's see if this thing here will converge. So as t as t tends to to infinity, this is going to be infinity. This is going to be infinity. You're going to have infinity over infinity. The infinity over infinity is an indeterminate form. So you can you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So uh, so differentiate this. So applying L'Hopital's rule means you you can differentiate this and then you can differentiate this. That will then give you this. So now let's let's try and find the limit of this. Um, as t heads towards infinity, this is going to be infinity. This is also going to be infinity. So here's another indeterminate form. So if it's an if it's an indeterminate form, you can apply L'Hopital's rule again and differentiate it. So applying L'Hopital's rule, uh, differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this thing here. So now let's check it again. As t heads towards infinity. This is going to be infinity. This whole thing here is going to be infinity. Apply L'Hopital's rule again. That will then give you this. Well, differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this whole thing here. That will then give you this. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to get infinity over infinity again. Apply blah, blah, blah. If you continue um, this thing here, you're going to get you're going to get n factorial at the bottom. Because if, if you apply L'Hopital's rule again, eventually, eventually you're going to get e to the power of t over n factorial so so if, if you look at this here for example when when you have t to the power of 4 um if you uh if you if you follow the the whole pattern here you're going to uh, you you're going to get this well if if you follow the whole pattern here if you follow this whole pattern here when t equals 4 differentiate it that will then give you this differentiate it again that will then give you this differentiate it again that will then give you this the blah blah blah. Eventually, you're going to get to this thing here, which well, t to the power of zero will be will be uh, will be one. Well, well, you're going to get n factorial, really. You if you continue this pattern, you're going to get n factorial. So so you will get to this stage here. Now when when you have um, now as as t tends to infinity, this is going to be uh, this is going to head towards infinity, and this this is going to this is going to come to a definite finite number. So, uh, so this is going to be a number. This thing here keeps on growing and growing and growing. So as t tends towards infinity, this is heading towards infinity as well. Because this thing here is going to keep on climbing and climbing and climbing. This is going to come to a definite number. So eventually, eventually this thing here will, will be a lot, will be a lot bigger than this thing here. So when, when you have, um, when you have one thing, when you have one thing divided by another thing, uh, giving you infinity, then then this thing here is gonna is going to be much much eventually as t tends towards infinity, this thing here will be much much bigger than this thing here. So uh, just because we know that because because this divided by this as t heads towards infinity gives if it gives you an infinity, then you know that this eventually this thing here is going to be much much bigger than this. So. Uh, we we've actually seen this before in um, in the past. If you have a graph of y equal y equals e to the power of x versus y equals x to the power of whatever, let's say 963, eventually this thing here will overtake this thing here because you you can you can always um, because you you can always apply L'Hopital's rule here uh, 900 and let's say 27 here. Uh, I'll apply L'Hopital's rule here. Apply blah blah blah. Eventually, this thing here will overtake this thing here. Okay, so 